Hello, treasured ladies. It's Jenna coming to you live from Jenna's Kitchen. And today I have a recipe to share with you guys that I absolutely love. It's a staple in our house and it is a garlic spaghetti squash dish. And um, I'm going to walk you through the steps that I uh, have on our Healthy You page is the recipe where you can uh, follow along with me. Um, I am going to cut it short a little bit, um, shorthand it, uh, just to keep the video flowing. Okay, so right in front of me is everything that you need. Behind me is my pan. So obviously you need to preheat your oven to 400, as the recipe says, which I've already done. Um, have your pan ready. You need some garlic herb, Mrs. Dash, or whatever herb mix you are going to use. Um, that's my favorite. Um, one stick of butter. I already have mine cubed. Uh, medium to large spaghetti squash. Normally I do two at a time uh, just because we eat it a lot. Um, but for this uh, video, I'm only going to do one. And then a basting brush if you have one. If not, we'll just use our fingers. I already washed my hands before starting this video. Um, a steak knife. And then whatever sauces, um, or you can opt out not to have a sauce uh, for afterwards. I like Rouse brand. It seems to be the purest um, out there with no funky additives and um, high sodium. Well, relatively, this one might have a lot of sodium in it. But um, if you're sodium sensitive or on a restriction, just read your labels. Uh, for my lifestyle, Rouse is okay. Um, and then this is Rouse homemade Alfredo sauce. Or you can just make your own. But for this video, we're using these puppies. Okay. And then um, also to have a complete meal, don't forget your protein. Uh, I like chicken with this. Um, some people like beef if you're going to use the red sauce, just like regular spaghetti. Okie dokie. Let's get started. Um, so, like I said, we already have our oven preheated. And we're going to take our steak knife and just randomly poke the holes in it. Just be careful not to chop your finger off. They don't have to be uniform. It's just so that when we nuke it um, in the microwave, it's easier to cut. Like so. All right, it already nuked four minutes. And yes, there could be some bubbles coming out of it. It's all okay. Now we're going to make sure that when you take it out, it's easy to touch because it can be warm and have some hot spots. So just be careful handling it. Um, if you need to, just put a towel on top of it if it's too hot for you. All right, with your steak knife or whatever knife you like to cut with, I'm going to cut. My steak knife is a little dull. All right, let's grab. Let's grab a different one. off the ends here. Ooh, see that's a hot spot. Hot spot. Alright, flip her around. And then you got your boat style spaghetti squash. Next step is to scoop out the guts. All 
My squash is a bit older, so it's peeling out real nice. The ones that have sat in the store not very long, um, they're harder to scoop out. It doesn't have to be super perfect. Just make sure that all the seeds are gone. You don't want to cook those. I do not believe they taste like pumpkin seeds, FYI. If you're curious about what they taste like, I guess. Next step is um, to melt the butter. So we're going to take our butter and also nuke it for absolutely less than a minute, depending on how uh, heavy duty and powerful your microwave is. Um, I go about 30 seconds at a time. Um, and while it's heating up the very first time, um, get your messes dash out. I'm one that I really don't measure things a whole lot when I cook. Um, so when the recipe says, I think it's like a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon, that is the creator's um original recipes suggestion i i just go by taste so um if you like a lot then put a lot in um, but no more than that tablespoon okay i thought i was gonna nuke overboard okay so gets a little runny, but you don't have to melt all of it, okay? So like I said, just sprinkle it in there. You can either use a spoon or your basting brush to begin with. My butter did not melt super well, so I'm gonna whisk it with a fork real quick. Okay, can I see that? All right. So, my favorite step is basting these things. All right, so you're gonna start. Let me make a transition here so you guys can see. All right, I have my boats turned up so that the meat of the squash is towards me at first. Okay. So with my basting brush, and if you don't have one, just make sure if you're going to use your fingers that you don't burn yourself with the butter. Okay, and in, in the bow, I just start sort of painting the insides of it with the butter. All over. And if you don't use the whole stick of butter, it's actually not a sin. You can either use it as your dressing or not at all. Mostly the butter is just to crisp up the squash. All right. Once you have it all basted in there, flip them over. Do the same thing to the outside. I know it might seem weird to baste the skin You drench every single part of this bad boy. And I, of course, do the skin last, um, just so then it's last. Okay. Pop it in there and hit your timer for 45 minutes. Bam. And then go do something with your kids, do your devotions, read your treasured um, stuff, and then dinner will be ready soon. If you haven't cooked your chicken or whatever protein you're going to add to it, this would be a great time to do that. Okay, we'll see you when it's done.